Bro, I am the stupidest person on the planet. I have just been recording a cause and effect. We have this really sick ray gun SMG Razorback thing, which it turns into a Wonder Wolf. It's genuinely awesome. And I haven't been recording for the last 20 minutes, dude. Oh my God. So we're going to hit the fast restart, which sucks because I really don't want to get rid of this gun. But like, whatever, dude. Let me at least showcase the uh, the Wonder Wolf version of it. So here we go. You shoot it and it, and it zaps them all. It's really cool. We have so many free perks and oh, I'm going to lose them all. It's so just, ah, <laughs> why? So we're doing cause and effect on Garod Krovi. One of the last few maps that we haven't done it on actually for the base BO3. We're actually using the Reaper collection. So there's a bit of variation with like the perks and stuff. I've enabled a few Black Ops 4 perks, some Cold War stuff. And yeah, like you saw in the intro, we had that ray gun SMG we can get out of the box, which I actually did on like my fifth spin. And oh, <laughs> Why? But it's fine. So yeah, every single round, something's going to change. Right now, it's players take damage, orientation slightly changed. Okay. So it just makes you like slightly aim a bit to the left or the right or up or down or whatever, whenever you get slapped. So look, let me showcase it real quick. So I'm, I'm aiming and then yeah, it sort of like took me up to the right. My Shure SM7B actually just arrived. So this is going to be the last video that you'll see with me using this microphone. And you know, the Blue Yeti, it served me well. Using filters genuinely makes it like pretty decent. I mean, I've been using it since I started this channel and obviously we have 30k subs now. So clearly it's pretty decent, but when a player loses 300 plus points, an earthquake occurs. So when I buy this, oh, your favorite. I love my entire screen shaking. <laughs> Jesus Christ. At least it's not permanent. But yeah, this Reaper Collection mod, it's pretty sick. I've put on Vanguard perk icons because I wanted to see what they looked like. Obviously, I just played a game so I know what they look like and I'm pretty pleased with them. Like genuinely, look at this. Like, come on, tell me that doesn't look kind of slick, you know? When a zombie spawns, perks randomize their location. I actually had that one last game, so hopefully we find Jug. It was in the spawn the whole time, and I just couldn't find it. But anyway, what's going to happen? Oh, yep. Electric Terry. <laughs> what? Oh, hi, Widow's Wine. How's it going? Speed Cola. The custom perks don't change location is the only thing I've noticed. As you can see over here, it was PhD last game here, but now we have ICU, which if you don't know, basically makes you immortal whenever you're like building or anything, which is pretty useful. I should have put Stone Cold Stronghold on because that would have been like really useful since we have a shield. And oh my God, Jug is back in the spawn again. Just okay. When a player swaps weapons, a random player is moved. Okay, so I can move myself. That's, that's totally not annoying at all. Hello, double tap. It's fine. Let's go get the shield parts. Speed Cola just awkwardly in this corner. Hello. Ooh, a random banana colada. Hello. Why am I getting the feeling I'm going to get a double points right at the end of the round again? I swear, it's just like a sense I have. Okay, we've got a carpenter. It will actually refresh our shield, which is quite nice. We have a zombie counter, of course, which is very, very useful. I can find the shield part. I see it down here. Boom, that's two out of three. The shield is actually so broken on this map. But anyway, let's go for a spin of the box. Could we get it first try? Could we get that ray gun back? No, we got the Brecci, which is actually one of the guns I got in the last game as well. Just being trolled by the box now. Come on, what are we getting? What are we getting? PPSH, you know, can't really complain about that. Probably the best thing to come out of this map. But honestly, I love Garod Krovi, man. Oh, Vulture Raid. Hello. I forgot this was enabled. That's going to be cool. Now, for whatever reason, when I go in this area, it gives me like frame lag, which is really strange. And in the same area opposite. Dude, the PPSH was done dirty, though. Why does it sound so pathetic? Like the World at War one sounded like a proper, like just absolutely obliterates everything. But let's go turn this power on nice and simple. We could just spin the Wonder Fizz to get a few perks. That'd be cool. Oh, so every time we get a headshot, it, it changes our orientation. Okay. So it just awkwardly makes me look upwards. Nice. I love it. All right, let's do the first Groff module. Where's it dropping? Oh my God, right here. Perfect. Nice and easy. You know, I never know if this is time-based or if we need a certain amount of kills because I don't know. I think we do. We got double tap. Hell yeah, dude. Not bad for a first perk drop. We have like 20 perks, so I thought we'd enable perk drops just because, you know, there's so much variety. Also, yeah, I think it is kill based, but maybe I'm wrong. Like, there we go. See, done. That was like 20 kills. When a player reloads, a random perk is lost. My quick revive's gone, dude. Oh my God. I didn't even know. <laughs> For God's sake, dude. 
It's fine. Just come on. Brain, do not reload. I have this like muscle memory that just means that I reload constantly. So come on. I want to keep double tap. I will not reload. I will not reload. When this gun starts to run out, we just, we switch weapons. Insta kill. Okay. We don't even need to shoot, dude. We, we've got this as well. Hell yeah. A max ammo. Oh my God. Perfect. Means I don't have to reload. Excellent. Oh, this one of this is enabled as well. I think I put all of them on. Hello, mule kick up there. Okay, here we go. Second graph module. Ah, oh, death machine. Perfect. I don't have to reload. Let's go. And it's right above me as well, which is nice. When a player slides, the random player is slightly moved. Okay, you know, if we were playing co-op, the random player thing would actually be quite funny. Oh, another perk drop. Don't mind if I do. We got stamina up. Hell yeah. Seem to be getting all the base perks, but I can't exactly complain, you know? Who's going to say no to stamina up at the end of the day? I had this whole rant in the last video just talking about like why is double tap not been in a game since bo3 or i guess technically in like world war ii or infinite warfare zombies oh yeah it's just cancelling our slide you actually can't it just like stops you <laughs> that's so glitchy let's go pick up our old groff module thingy go for a spin actually see what we can get come on i'd love to get that ray gun thingy back please no you give me the goddamn shadow claws i just they're not cutting it, bro. It doesn't even one shot. It's not even a one shot. Like, come on, an RPK? Okay, not gonna necessarily say no to that. Hey, Raygun Mark Threes. You know, it's not the special ray gun, but it's close enough, you know? This is pretty much like the God setup, you know, PPSH, Raygun Mark Three. let's buy Speed Cola. And I think we'll also get Jug. Okay, it didn't move. <laughs> I swear if I went back there and it wasn't there. I wonder what other perks are just randomly placed around the map. There's gotta be a few, right? Oh yeah, like right here, Bigger Rush. Okay. Effect, bullet weapons create small explosions when shooting. That's quite cool. I've noticed that in the actual like cause and effect, or is it the weapon pack mods? It's one of them. I kind of want to wait for mule kick before we go spinning. Oh, hello, death perception just in the corner. See zombies through walls. Kind of like... It's one of those perks where it seems very useless until you use it and have this like niche situation where it's actually useful. Like on that Ascension video I did very recently, it genuinely came in clutch a few times there. But we have to, uh, we'll kill the zombie. Where is the shield part? It's not here. Wait, where is the other spawn again? Oh, here it is. Dude, I never like noticed this one. So this one glitches out a lot of the time and visually it just won't show up. When a player slides, lose a hundred points. Oh, for God's sake, dude. I was sliding for the last like two minutes. I need to save up for the door. <laughs> See, these ones are really troll because it's just something that it's second nature. When you play zombies, you're going to slide and reloading, you know, it's just something that you always do. All right, we can actually afford the door now. Let's go. Call in the Groff module. Oh, and of course it goes all the way on the other side of the map like it just of course it does ah hello dying wish one of the best perks uh, honestly the best perk to come out of black ops 4 dude again and the sliding i kept sliding ah right we'll use the ray gun for this nice and easy i think there we go just make little black holes i mean it's kind of interesting because on black ops 3 there are two wonder weapons on the main maps that just make black holes it would have been nice if there was a little bit more variety but i can't complain because like they're pretty decent the mark 3s have nothing on the apothecary servant though like that gun you know it, it's godly until round infinity this stops one shotting at round 50 which is kind of pathetic you know compared to everything else on this game anyway though we got the last one so we can go get pack a punch but here's phd slider just tucked in the corner i wish that phd was on actual garod Krovi, but i mean this is as close as we can get i suppose when a gumball is eaten gain 100 points oh so you get like what i suppose if it costs zero then oh dude with the frame every time when i reach this area but yeah if it costs zero we get a hundred back. There are some custom gobble gums that I genuinely don't know what they do. But anyway, eat this and yeah, plus 100. But if it was 1500, then we'd get a 15th of the price back. Like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Nothing crazy, you know? Oh, we've got another one of those cylinder thingies. Get the old death machine. I really want that Reagan SMG back. I swear, I don't want to end the video until we get it back because that entire video I recorded was just such good content. But at least we got mule kick. Actually quite good. Oh, and a double points at the end of the round, you know? Classic. When a player takes damage, wall buys are randomized. I mean, we're probably not going to be buying any wall buys anyway. But here, let's go for a spin. Oh, Valkyries. No one likes the Valkyries. Dude, can I stop getting the Britchy? But look, it actually glows green. You've got to appreciate that because 
not knowing which gun is your mule kick gun genuinely sucks sometimes. But this is perfect because now you permanently know. And I think when you rebuy the perk, if you go down, you get your mule kick gun back, which is so good. All right, there we go. We got the old, the mask part ready, I think. Come on, Max Ammo, get over here. It's cool to actually fly to you. I mean, I, obviously it would stay out the map otherwise, so it's kind of needed. What are we getting? A teddy? Okay, dude. Let's build the shield real quick. The guard of FNAF. FNAF? The guard of FNAF? Not exactly what I was thinking, but the guard of Fafnir. Probably one of the best shields, like, ever. I mean, shooting out dragon fire is just pretty sick. Imagine if we had that shield on, like, transit. The fire immunity would be just so good. I wonder if the mod creators are doing that for the uh, transit remaster, if they're going to have the guard of Fafnir, because that would be so cool, just holding out the shield and being immune to fire. Or, I guess, lava as well. I mean, it should count, too. Let's see what other perk we can get. When a gumball's eaten, AAT is removed. Why would I want that? Why would I want to lose, like, my dead wire? Is this dead shot? The perk bottles are sick, though. It could actually be the Cold War BO4 dead shot, so it might be pretty decent. But we have the fire sail. Don't mind if I do. Maybe we can get our hands on this good old ray gun thing. Pick up with the flowers, because every game I do it. Oh, the bloody shadow claws. Please, dude, I beg. The locust? No, this isn't what I want. Please, 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 please. Oh, the weevil. One of the most underwhelming guns ever. But I mean, it's pretty good for points, to be honest. What is this? Is that ICU? Oh, yes, it is. ICU is actually pretty good. So it makes you immortal when you're like building stuff. I think it means you... Do you reload a bit faster? I think you do, because that is even faster than speed cola. What is this? Electric cherry. Don't mind if I do. Oh, when a player takes damage, give a random gobble gum. Okay, see you later, nerds. <laughs> I'm all the way in spawn. Oh my god. Let's see where it takes me next. Uh, bye bye. Wait, what? Spawn again? Why does it always take me here? I know there's like a glitch you could do to get back into that like boss fight, but you have to beat the Easter egg first, which I find very intriguing because that's considered like the best camping spot. What is this perk I got? P flatulent something? What on earth? Oh my god, I'm dead. I died. Are you serious? Oh, I forgot it stole my quick revive. Oh, I hate life right now. Okay, so not my proudest moment. Wait, why are we still on round 12? What? Huh? I've only just spawned it. I fast restarted. Why are we on round 12? I only have 100 points, dude. Oh, no, no. What? Now it's round one. Okay. When a player reload, ability to slide will toggle. Well, wow, that's just brilliant, isn't it? I swear Garod secretly hates me, bro. Hello? Where are the zombies, man? Are they just invisible? Oh, there we go. Oh, random camo when a perk is purchased. Okay, that's actually like a bad one because for whatever reason, that one crashes the game so many times. Hello, Crusader's Ale. Hello, Death Perception. When a player earns 100 plus points, random attachments. Okay. I don't actually have any attachments on my gun, so that would actually be kind of decent. Oh, yeah, there we go. I just laid down by the perk and I have a laser sight now. What the hell? Does it work for the, uh, the MR6 as well? There's usually a perk. Damn, is there no custom perk? Maybe I could, like, I get a knife kill. Yeah, there we- Oh, it put a laser sight on the starting pistol, dude. That's so cool. Oh, and now it swapped it out to something. Wait, I have a fast mag. I definitely have a fast mag. That's so good. Let's see if I can get one on the RK5. Yep, there we go. It's like I have speed cola, but I don't. That's so good, actually. Now I, I kind of don't want to get too many points, so I get rid of it. I'm trying to aim for the body, I guess. When a zombie spawns, wall by prices are randomized. Okay. Oh, box isn't on this side. Why did I come over here then? But we got the shield, I guess. You know what? Screw it. I'll go this way this time. Now, how much is the Vesper? It's 2,260. Now it's 1,100. What? You think anyone in their right might 860 points? That's actually really cheap. Okay, if it goes below 1,000, maybe I'll get it. I would love to keep this starting pistol, but... Okay, it's 2,119. It's not changing. Never mind. Screw it then. Let me just double check. Yep, it's, it's stuck. It's sad. Well, we can build the shield immediately. Dude, you can actually build the shield so quickly on this map. Like, it's only round three. How am I red screen? Like, literally, I got slapped by one zombie. Whatever, dude. I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to go spin the box. Pretty please. Can I just get like Razorback first try? Maybe that would be nice. No, we've got a dredge. I mean, I actually do secretly like the dredge. It's a pretty good gun. 
and the L4 Siege. I mean, if we had PhD, it'd be kind of decent. The Dredge, I mean, it goes through ammo really quick, but it genuinely does shred. A six round burst LMG, like you can't, you can't hate on it too much. It's better the later the game goes, or unless you're like just shooting into a massive horde of zombies, but we got the PP. Okay, I'll happily take a PPSH over it though. What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? Uh, Britchy again, dude. I, I can't escape the Britchy no matter where I go. Are you serious? My game crashed. I give up.